Extreme Country 1057. This is your morning show host, Mitch Kieran. And now we're hanging out with my good friend, Jesse Allen. He's an awesome country singer-songwriter from Mason City, Iowa, not too far from here. And his concerts are must-see. And now he's bringing his fake ID tour to our neck of the woods this weekend in Arnold's Park at Captain's Getaway. Jesse, first off, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me today, man. Hey, Mitch, no problem. I appreciate you uh, making some time to chat with me here this morning. And uh, good morning to everyone listening in. All right. Well, Jesse, you're coming up here to uh, Arnold's Park Captain's Getaway this weekend. And obviously, like I just mentioned, a country singer, songwriter. And let's just go ahead and start things off from the beginning. You know, can you kind of just take us through the early stages of your career and and just uh, how you got your start in country music? Sure. Uh, Well, I've been singing and playing music my entire life since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Uh, I grew up. My dad was a drummer, and I got it from him. He played across the entire uh, lower 48, and uh, really just uh, kind of, I was the one kid out of three that took hold of music and uh, grew up uh, singing and playing and band in high school and went to college for music a little bit. Um, but really the last uh, five, six years, I started uh, touring professionally, uh, playing with different bands, and then finally kind of just decided that I wanted to step out on my own uh, about uh, about three years ago and, and be the front man and, and build my own career. And, you know, things really uh, have started to take off in the last year or so. We've been playing a lot of major festivals and, and fairs and releasing new music and uh, shooting music videos and all that kind of stuff. So really it's been a... Uh, it's been a kind of a whirlwind, but uh, that's that's kind of the, the short, condensed version of how I got my start, Mitch. Well, that's awesome, and you've already accomplished a lot. You've got an EP under your belt called I'm Stepping In, as well as some new singles, Bad and To the Grave. Now, your musical style is pretty gritty. It's original, and it's very unique to modern country music. Uh, can you kind of just tell me where you get some of, your, some of the inspiration for your songwriting? Uh, you know, a lot of the inspiration comes uh, in, in many forms. A lot of real life experiences, you know, especially that first EP. I'm stepping in. You mentioned that. Uh, that was kind of the one that really, uh, you know, bad was the song that kind of opened it all for me and kind of pushed me to jumpstart this. And, and a lot of it just comes from real life experience or friends. Uh, you know, I'd hear stories from them or somebody would say something to me. Um, that's that's kind of the easiest way to explain it i i write what i feel and you know i try to keep it authentic and and real in that uh aspect uh so it's tough for me to sit down and you know write a write a party song unless i was you know (laughs) part of the the party you know or something like that so a lot of the stuff i have out it's all from real life experiences and you know i've been working more with uh different writers and um starting to kind of open up my I guess catalog a little bit and some of the new stuff that we're going to be putting out uh, this year uh, is going to reflect that kind of growth uh, moving away from, you know, some of those past things that I went through and kind of talking about new experiences and everything else. But a lot of it comes down to just experiences that I've gone through personally or friends have gone through and just kind of writing real authentic stuff for people to listen to and hopefully enjoy. Well, very good. I like that right there. And also kind of a fun fact for our listeners, uh, you also got another career on the radio as the morning host of The Country Moose in Mason City. And uh, one could say Jesse's mentored me and uh, when I was just an intern a couple of years ago. But uh, just uh, tell me how you balance those two careers out, uh, radio and music. And uh, do either of them kind of have an influence on each other? Well, I don't know how much I mentored you. I think I just <laughs> taught you what not to do. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, you know, balancing the two, I've been very fortunate and been able to find a way to balance them. It's tough. Uh, there's a lot of times, you know, I mean, I'm I'm in here on the morning show, too, and I'm up at 4 or 4.15 in the morning, had to work, and at 5, uh, there's some times where I might play a weeknight show late in, say, Des Moines and turn around and drive from the venue right back to work. Um mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people don't see that behind the scenes. Uh, it, it's it's tough. It really is a balancing act sometimes, and mm-hmm. there's sometimes where I have to, you know, turn down gigs or block off certain time because I have commitments at the radio station, or or vice versa. There's sometimes where I have to turn things down at the radio station because I already have a commitment uh, right. on the music side and, and juggling, you know, the music business that I have with a second, you know, career in radio. It, mm-hmm. it, it's tough, but It's also afforded me a lot of different opportunities to meet folks and and network and really just kind of gain a better understanding of the music industry as a whole. I know a lot of the, 
people I write with now uh, out of Nashville, I, I've met through the radio station, my producer I met through working here. So it's definitely had benefits, and I guess uh, the easiest way to say it is I just do my best to juggle juggle it and uh, learn to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> that's another really thing to say. Well, that's one way to tackle the grind, but you know, more props to you for that. And there's no doubt, I really hope it's worth it because you really do know how to put on a show live in concert. You know, you've been featured at the Treetown Music Festival, featured on the same card with the likes of Jason Aldean, Tim McGraw, Miranda Lambert, and many, many more of some of the biggest names in country music today. And you just hit the ground running now on your fake ID tour, uh, kicking it off this past week in Dyersville, Iowa. Later this week, you'll be in West Des Moines. And then this weekend, Friday and Saturday night, you're bringing the fake ID tour to us in Arnold's Park at Captain's Getaway. First off, how pumped are you to be rocking an Okaboji? Uh, super pumped. We yeah. played Captain's uh, last summer. We actually played on a weeknight up there for two nights in a row, and uh, I tell you what, just the crowd and, and the people there, the venue and everything else, I, I can't say enough good things about them. It was, uh, it was a ton of fun. We had a great time, uh, really treated well, and it's such a cool place to play. I just I'm super pumped. I hope everyone listening in makes some plans. Come out and see us Friday night or Saturday night or both nights if you want to. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the show, you know, we're going to play some of my originals. Uh, we're going to play a bunch of covers that you know, too. We're going to kind of mix it up and have some fun, do some things that maybe you've never heard somebody do in a certain way before like we do. And, really, it's just about having fun, having a good time, and uh, sending people home happy, and that's what it's all about. And I'm I'm super pumped. Um to get the fake ID tour going and uh, you'll hear the song fake ID which is going to be the new single coming up here wow. soon that's a little bit of a spoiler alert there for <laughs> you uh, Mitch. Oh, well uh, awesome yeah so I, I'm just I, I'm super pumped to get this going and uh, really just uh, I've had a few weeks off the road and kind of recharge and refresh and really excited to get back at it and uh, looking forward to this weekend in Arnold's Park well, fantastic. We now know what to expect, but uh, do you want to let some of our listeners know uh, where they can find you and your music at just to get a little taste prior to the shows? Sure. Yeah, uh, obviously uh, available on all different uh, streaming services and download services, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play, all that good stuff. Uh, you can find me online, jacountry.com, jacountry.com. That's uh, the easiest. That'll link up to our show calendar. All my social media links are on there, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that different stuff. Uh, you can find it all on the website, jacountry.com. And, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, hopefully seeing plenty of uh, new faces this weekend, Mitch. Well, me too, obviously. Jesse, thank you very much for talking with me today, and I'm stoked to see you at Caps this weekend, man. Hey, not a problem. We look forward to it, and uh, thanks again for the time. I appreciate it. That was Jesse Allen on the Extreme Country Morning Show, and he's bringing the fake ID tour to Arnold's Park this Friday and Saturday night. Go check him out. You're not going to want to miss it. And to give you a little extra taste, here's Jesse Allen's new song, Bad, on Extreme Country 105.7. Keeps me up at night She's a moonlight kiss And a back row twist An angel in disguise Tearing me up And stringing me out I just can't deny Well I got you on my mind Singing about you all the time Rolling through my head And I just can't pretend That without you I'd be fine Well I'm not gonna waste my time I'm a Have to love. She's a long black dress and a red white zip, a candle in the wind. She knows I know that she knows the power she holds. Well, I got you on my mind, saying about you all the time. Rolling through my head, and I just can't pretend that without you I'd be fine. Well, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna wait all on the
singing about you all the time Rolling through my head and I just can't pretend that without you I'll be fine Well I'm not gonna waste my time, I'm worried all on the line I want you, need you, no more holding back Girl I want you back Won't you 